Hello and welcome. This video is about the wonderful world of fairies. And this is going to be a long video. However, you do not have to watch it from start to finish. The way this video is designed is so that it has links below the description of the video that you can tap on and go to what interests you uh, from start to finish or certain sections and you got a little bit hang of how the fairies work. So you just tap on show more and it will re reveal all the shortcut links and you also have the chapters or the pictures below that that's the same thing that you can do as well and there is in the actual slider of the whole thing it will say the names of the sections you want to go to so without further ado let us get started here we go and first up is the requirements to be able to see and unlock the story for your fairy so it says that you must complete the requirements of Northeast Camisilvia Main Quest Lemuria Guard Post Commander. So let us uh, go to the world map and show you where that's at. Here we go. And here we are on the world map. And if you're not sure how to get here, uh, just hit the uh, gameplay menu screen and look to the right and those tiles that are there it's the bottom left corner it says world map so northeast camisilvia is where we need to be and i hate to tell it to you guys but lemuria guard post uh nope we won't be searching in this area so if we tap on the area it will give us our cp requirement of 31,000 cp so this i would have to say is more of a um uh mid to end level uh cp requirement to be able to unlock your fairy i mean it's a really nice reward and it will definitely increase the strength of your character by having a fairy companion as well as the black spirit so now that you know that let us go into more information here we go and once you finish the main quest requirement you now see the fairy storyline ready for you to uh, begin and go through and it says over here you receive an urgent request from thea the fairy queen she is searching for a fairy that disappeared beyond the rift so what we're going to do now is show you the storyline so let's go ahead and get started with that here we go and just a reminder for those sections where we are transitioning from one location to another i am going to cut out the loading screens so that the video will be a lot shorter so expect that and maybe chime in from time to time about what's going on with the storyline so without further ado let's go ahead and get to it and i will be quiet here we go
so as you can see, the suggested CP is 31k CP to battle these uh, creatures. And we need to kill, I think it says 200. So what we're going to do is just uh, skip right to the part where we killed them all. <laughs> so we can keep the storyline going. Here we go.
congratulations! You now have a baby fairy. <laughs> so I do want to let you know that uh, the game crashed out right when I was doing some dialogue, so it's going to cut right to after uh, that dialogue, so I apologize. You're gonna, it's going to seem like, hey, what happened here? And that's what I'm talking about. But you'll see that dialogue, and we'll just keep the storyline going from here. So without further ado, let's keep going. Here we go. So this is the part where we get to the end of the storyline and she's offering assistance to uh, build or have a building put in your camp that you can build for the fairy as a home. And there it is right there. And there's the final reward. And way to go. Side story complete. So what I do now is uh, access my camp so we can see what this uh, fairy house looks like. So let's go ahead and do that. And you get to see what my camp looks like and my day-to-day -day stuff. I just got to get these workers taken care of real quick. Sorry about that. Make sure they're greeted and encouraged. Don't want any lazy workers. <laughs> and when you tap on build there it is fairy house for 273.3 thousand uh, silver yeah you uh, you're gonna consume resources to be able to build this house it's no different than by the time you got to this point you know this so now it's a matter of where to put it uh, we're just gonna set it over next to our Zekka's garden I think that's a very good spot near uh, the storage area where I usually do uh, many videos. Uh, so it will make a, a good spot. Just want to make sure we have the front of it facing. Yeah, I think so. Yep, let's confirm. And we're going to speed this up so that uh, you don't have to sit through a wait time. So that we can take a look at it. And we're waiting for, well, better to just, yeah, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Six stamina, perfect. Let's take a look at this house. And you can already see that the baby fairy is uh, your companion now, hanging out with you. And let's look at the info. With the help of the fairy queen, uh, this fairy house can be built in the camp. And it's occupied. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, what the options are when you tap on fairy.
So at this point, you're going to learn about the interface and everything that has to do with the entire options and things you can do with the ferry. And what I decided to do is I'm going to break it down to you in my own way so that uh, it's another way that it can make sense as you see what they present to you as well. So what I'm going to start with is uh, I froze the screen and what you're looking at at the bottom of the screen is the four things that you can do with your fairy. That's bond, activities, blossom, and skill. So I'm going to go through it the way that uh, my friends and I go through it every day. There's an order to it so that you're more comfortable and familiar with it. So I'm going to go ahead and present that to you and get started. And once you got the gist of it, then I'm going to come back to how they present it to you in a tutorial style fashion. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. And the first step is activities. So we want to go into this one and show you the next screen. So from here you have two options. On the left is playtime and on the right is adventures. And when you uh, your fairy grows into an adult, then the adventures are unlocked. So for now we're working with uh, getting the baby fairy to that point. So if you look at the bottom of the screen where it says curiosity, this is the reason why we're here is we want to get that curiosity up to 150. So let's go ahead and tap on playtime. So we're going to spend some time looking at this interface and I want you to get very comfortable with it. First of all in the bottom right corner is your curiosity and we want that to get up to 150. Now let's look at meditate. These are the three things and it's only these three things that you have for activities. So under meditate, it says uh, under the warm sun, your fairy might discover new knowledge. And I will show you examples of what knowledge they're talking about. But below that, you're looking that it's looking at the part where it says available and it takes 10 minutes for the meditate session to complete. There's a one minute cooldown time and right next to it on the right is plus 40 curiosity is what you'll get when it's done. So if you do the math, you need to do one of these activities three times and you will have maxed out from this point up to 150 to move on to the next step. Now I do want to point out that when you tap on play and you start the clock for 10 minutes, if you are just not going to wait for 10 minutes and you do have the black pearls to uh, spend, it is 10 black pearls to complete the process. And this is one of the reasons why I have saved my black pearls is for moments like this where you want to just get right through it. So let's go ahead and uh, complete with uh, doing the 10 black pearls and let's show you the items you can get from Meditate for Knowledge. Here it is. Now I do want to point out that you will not get an item every time an activity is completed. It is random when you get it, but these are examples of things that you can get. And as you can see, it helps you increase your knowledge for various locations around the world map. So it's a really nice bonus. So let's go ahead and move on to the next activity called Dance. So now that you have gone through all the details that are involved in Meditate, Dance and Sing will go a lot quicker. So you already know about the interface, you already know about speeding it up, so let's just show you examples of what you can get when you choose Dance. Here it is. And here you go. So these are examples of uh, items that you can get when the fairy gives it to you from Dance, and once again, doesn't happen every time. Uh, the music score and the broken harp and as you can see they sell for 1 million silver so this is definitely worth your time if you're looking 
for more silver income, then you would want to choose this while building up your curiosity. If you want to do the meditate and uh, build up your knowledge, you do that. So let's go ahead and move on to what Sing can give you. Here we go. And that is Magical Residue and Magical Essence. And for those people who are very observant and notice that my Magical Essence is not the same as uh, the other screen, where that's just because I didn't get it as a reward yet, but I wanted you to know that those are the things that you get. So let's go ahead and get out of this and the activities and go to step two. Here we go. And step two is called Bond. And this is where we use the uh, curiosity that you built up from the activities. So let's go into here and show you what you can expect. So I'd like to take a moment to explain what you are looking at you know, on the Bond screen. So at the top is uh, the curiosity and twinkle and intellect. Now, curiosity, you already know, is the reason why we're here. Twinkle, I will get to. It uh, helps uh, with the level up process. And intellect helps with uh, purchasing and using skills that your fairy can do for you. Now, there's also the section of talk and wish. And we will get into those. So let us start with talk. Here we go. So I want to call your attention to the bottom of the screen in the middle. You have three talks or is your daily limit. So you can talk to your fairy three times and it costs 45 curiosity each time you talk to your fairy. And that is a total of 135 all together out of 150 so you're going to be building up the curiosity each time and each day so you can get in a talk session or a wish session so let's show you what happens when you tap on talk so this is an example of a question that your fairy will ask you and you have three answers or three chances to reply and now it matters what each reply does is it generates a trait point so let's go ahead and show you what we mean let's go ahead and go back out to the four steps and here we go so now that we're out here I want to call your attention to the left side of the screen it is right below trait and skill and these traits are cheerful, friendly, creative, bold, relaxed, and honest. And you'll notice that they are color-coded. Cheerful and friendly are green, creative and bold are red, and relaxed and honest are blue. So why do you need to answer these questions to get these trait points? It's because all of us who have fairies now and you will too are working towards getting them maxed out when cheerful and friendly is maxed out at 10 and 10 you are building towards a cp boost and let's show you what that looks like so if you simply tap in this section right here it'll bring up this screen and just like your accessories have a resonance, your traits now have a resonance too. So what you're looking at is when you achieve one of these sections, like uh, the cheerful and friendly, you get 10 and 10, and now you're done. You have your 20 there, and you build up bold and creative and relaxed and honest, so you can get a total of 60 trade points to unlock the first column to the right which is a total of 72 CP gained and when you upgrade your fairy to the next tier level and you keep going and you build up more trade points and you get a total of uh, 120 trade points which is just doubling it's 40 40 and 40 
Then you unlock that column, and it's 144, which basically is double. And so you get another 72 CP gained, and it just keeps going. So let's go ahead and return back to the questions. And welcome back. So now that you know why you are on this talk section and why you want to answer these questions very specifically to build up your trait points and the reason for all of that, I don't blame you if you come up with this question when I did as well. It's like, I wish there was a way that I could know the answer that I'm getting will give me the trait point that I'm looking for. Because uh, Pearl Abyss wants you to figure that out over time. Uh, or maybe it's as simple as the first, second, and third always generate one of each section. It could be. But what I'm trying to tell you is that I'm going to create, or I have created by now, a Google Doc that you'll be able to access which has all of the questions that the uh, fairy has asked me and the answer I chose and the trait result that it gives or gives excuse me so this is one section of the fairy sections that will help you when you're looking for a specific result and this is how you get to it and I just want to state that this document is just a read-only. It's meant for you to peruse and view, not to add to it. So just take it for what it is to help you achieve what you're looking for in a trait uh, point. So let's go ahead and move on to the next section, which is called Wish. So how this works is you get a list of quests that you can do. Some quests uh, have you uh, give an item, some have you go to a location in the map, and some have you find a person somewhere on the map. And once you accept the quest, it will bring up this screen, and completing the quest will allow you to earn Twinkle, which it helps you with upgrading your fairy to the next tier level, as well as uh, give you uh, trait points or a trait point excuse me so it'll tell you as it does here what you get when you complete the quest and if you're wondering well I don't know where to go once you accept it you can tap on the uh, quest and it will give you a hint on where you want to go to complete it so it's very helpful and very very doable but you might get frustrated and say, I, I just don't know where I'm supposed to go, even when I'm at that area. And if you recall that Google Doc that I talked about, this information is going to be there too. You know, go to this location. I'm at the location. Where exactly do I need to be so that I complete this uh, quest? It's meant for you to go to this Google Doc to see where it is so you have the information so it's helpful. So this is the reason why this doc is being created is just in case you need that little extra push on who is it do I see or where exactly in Velia I need to be. I just been searching for an hour. You can come here and look at that. And once again, here is the location for the Google Doc that you can access. So let me say one more thing on this subject and that is when you were doing the talk section and uh, completing it for a trait point, I failed to mention that it also gives you 30 twinkle. So talking and the wish or the quests in the wish section help build up the twinkle section or a spot so you can get your fairy upgraded so what you're doing is always helping you get to that next tier so let's go ahead and uh, return back to the main 
page and show you step three. Here we go. And welcome to step three. So the thing about uh, the skills section is that you can uh, get your first skill when you first get your fairy. But after that, uh, obtaining your next skill is going to take a little bit of time and a lot of effort. So let's go ahead and go in to the skill section and show you what it looks like. Here we go. So once you're here, what you're looking at is uh, the bubbles are things that you tap on to learn about the different skills that you can acquire. On the far right side, it's showing you that there are four skill slots that are locked and one above it is open and ready to be used. And of course the uh, orange exclamation points are the three skills that you can have access to immediately when you get your fairy. So as she says, she can provide you with a skill. So what I'm gonna do is show you a picture of what it looks like when you tap on each skill but I'm gonna have them all at the same time so you can see it. So let me bring that up, here we go. And here it is. So when you tap on the fish, it'll tell you that you have a 10% chance to gain two fish when fishing. And actually that's the one that I did. Uh, it ties in with the uh, merchant delivery system and I'm trying to see uh, how much fish I can give them. So this is very helpful for me. And it says learn and that's 50,000 intellect. So if you look at the bottom left corner where it says resonance and then intellect 70,000 out of 70,000, you have enough to purchase one of these skills. But after that, then you will need to uh, raise intellect and don't worry, we'll get to how you do that. But for now, your other options are extra evasion charge, it's uh, to the right, it's plus one evasion charge, or above it, you can save one more location. That's the uh, shortcut locations that uh, you have access to, and it's all up to you where you want to save and go to. It's great for farming, so you can learn that as well. Now, I should make this very clear you can learn one of them and then as you are growing your fairy and you are building your intellect back up i feel pretty confident that you can come back here and learn another one so you can eventually purchase all three but as you can see on the right hand side you can only equip one at a time so this is something you can work on but what I was talking about is the next tier below, like look at the fish and you see the butterfly circle that's right below it. To get that, I need the fairy to be at a higher tier to allow two slots for two things that I can choose. So that's going to take a while. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Now that you see how this works, I'm going to show you something special. It's kind of a surprise, so and it's very helpful. So let me bring that up. Here we go. And surprise! What I've done is taken the skills that you just saw, and I have populated what every skill is. So you can plan out which ones you want to purchase. Since intellect is not easy to get, you can, yeah, and I will show you what makes it easy but at least you have a path on what you want to choose. So if you want to print this out, maybe black and white. It's a little heavy on the color. I know I say that all the time, but uh, you can print this out or have it on another screen and just look at it and say, oh, look at that. There's, uh... now you can see what I was going for. Below the fish, to the bottom left of it, your fairy will bring tier two gifts every day. She brings tier one gifts without this skill equipped. So, and yes, she does. She actually uh, 
well, I don't have it equipped, but anyway, that's what I'm going for. I want to get the tier 2 gifts every day and then see what I want to go for next. But here you go. This is a skill map. And if it changes, I will update it. But let's go ahead and return back now to the main area and go for the last step. Step 4. Well, the last step for Baby Fairy. <laughs> So here we go. And welcome to step four. It is Blossom. This is the section that you come to when your twinkle is 1,000 out of 1,000. And you are ready to take a crack at upgrading your fairy to the next tier level. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a video. We're going to take a break from uh, all the slides and show you what it looks like when you answer that one question that just pushes you into 1000 twinkle and what it looks like to take a crack at upgrading your fairy so let me cue that up here we go and here we go so we have the last question i just need 10 twinkle and one more question will do it and push me into the 1000 so doesn't really matter what I choose but you know I'm going to put all this in that uh, Google Doc <laughs> anyway but uh, let's go ahead and uh, choose something here there we go and look at the top left corner you see how it changed to go this is why I wanted to show you the video is now you have a visual indicator that she is ready to try to upgrade you're a thousand out of a thousand. Your success rate is 100%. Going from a baby fairy to the next level, and you are guaranteed. So let's go ahead and get that going. Here we go. And congratulations you now have your first Lila and it is a kind Lila but she's classified as kind fuzzy Lila <laughs> and now you'll notice that uh, your skill slots are one your max traits go up to ten and your twinkle all used up but there's good news let's go ahead and show you this uh, event And yes, what this also means is Lila is uh, also your companion uh, instead of the Black Spirit. So I want to go ahead and freeze the screen for a second and show you that something new has happened. Yes, you have an adult fairy. She will always be called Lila, and but she is a kind fuzzy Lila, and that will change the word kind. So. What's new is in the bottom right corner, album. You now have an album section. And we will cover that very shortly as step five. So let's go ahead and finish up here and show you something new in step three that uh, has happened now that you have an, an Lila instead of a baby fairy for the skill section. So let's go in there. Here we go. And now that we're in here, you will notice that there is now a study section below Wish. And this is uh, unlocked and it's there. It'll always be there for you. 
So let us uh, go ahead and tap on that and show you why study is important. Here we go. So I want to take a moment to look at this slide and what you're looking at is an inventory of items off to the right that you have collected in your adventures. And these things are like giving gifts to Lila to improve her intellect. So let's go ahead and tap on one of them. There we go. And you'll see a white check mark, a second row all the way to the right for that. And now you'll see that the area all the way below, Magical Essence, minus one curiosity, gives 100 intellect. Now there is a section below that on when you're going to study and give the item. Now just remember, you can study two times a day, but the quantity of what you give is uh, as much as you can handle. So for Magical Essence, I can give, say, a hundred one time and then maybe a hundred again. And that's my two times that I can study per day. So once we do that, then you will see over here where it says intellect or where the intellect section is that you have increased it. So you're on your way to saving up to purchase another skill. And just a reminder that you have three skills that you have access to to purchase. So you can go ahead and work on that while you are working on upgrading Lila to being the next tier level and unlocking two skill slots. So now that you know how study works and what it does for you, which is totally for getting new skills, let us now conclude this part and go back out to the main section where something new has also unlocked now that you have a Lila and not a baby fairy. And that is with step one in activities. Here we go. So we're back now at the main screen. Let's go ahead and tap on activities and see what's new. You will now notice that the adventure section has unlocked. And don't worry, it'll stay unlocked from now on. It's a congratulations for upgrading your baby fairy into a Lila. I would say adult Lila, but, uh, well, I'll get into the fact that uh, she's going to be going through a lot of transformations uh, as she goes up in tier. So now that you have adventure, let's go ahead and see what that's all about. Here we go. Let's tap on it. So let's take a moment to look at this new screen and explain. There are now three activities that you can do, and it's Royal Audience, Broadening Horizons, and Explore Surroundings. And uh, it's general on what you get from them. So like for Royal Audience, this is the one that I chose. You get gifts from the forest. Uh, broadening Horizons is interesting items and explore surroundings is find something shiny or fish nearby. So I also want you to see what is below royal audience and that is when you choose one of these it happens for eight hours, eight hours. There's a four hour cooldown time and it costs 65 curiosity. So let's go ahead and select one. Uh, it will be Royal Audience and show you what that looks like. And as you can see, they give you a warning before you begin this activity for eight hours. You won't be able to do other activities and the curiosity you spent will not be returned to you. So what this means is when you activate this, I will show you and the first thing is obviously you cannot do the other activities because you are now waiting for the time remaining to count down and complete and just in case you're curious of oh I made a mistake I wish to cancel let's tap on that and show you what it looks like and there you go so you get your warning that says your fairy is still adventuring. Spent interest will not be returned upon cancellation. So you can cancel it if you made a mistake, but uh, 65 curiosity down the drain. So do plan it out ahead of time. And let's go ahead and go out to the adventure screen and see what that looks like.
So this is what you see when you return back out to the advent activity screen, excuse me. You see that you cannot do the playtime. See, it says, cannot proceed with playtime during Royal Audience Adventure. It'll change it. It could be Royal Audience or any of the others. But here's the reason why that's important is if you still have uh, talk or um, any of the other things that you could do, but you are low on curiosity, by starting an adventure for eight hours, you just locked yourself out of that. Being able to go back and do that. So the best advice is to get your uh, curiosity up. That was step one. And step two, go into the activities for playtime and, and bonding. And get everything done that you want. And do the, act, the, uh, excuse me, the adventure for eight hours last. This is like the last thing you would do so that when you come back to the game the next day, she will say, I'm done, I'm ready for you, and you can continue building your Lila. So let's go ahead now that you have a very good understanding of what has changed in the activity section. Let's now introduce to you step five. Here we go. And here we go. Step five is just like the collection stuff that you may have already encountered already and worked on. And it's called Album. So we're going to tap on it, go in and find out all about it. Here we go. So now that we're here, I want to spend a moment to explain what you're looking at. The book has two tabs on the left hand side. One is Growth and we're on that. And the other one is memory and we will get to that you have upgraded your baby fairy to a kind Lila or I did so now you can get a reward for it so you would tap on her and it relates to the red uh, stamp for kind Lila indicating you received the reward for this collection and of course this section right here you're able to tap and scroll up because there's many more there's 12 different types of lilas that you can achieve so take a moment to look at this and now that you're ready let's go ahead and tap on the memory tab and see what's inside there here we go so now that we're on the memory tab i just want to point out that yes in here you are able to tap and scroll up in this section right here because it's a collection of out of 11. and now that i think about it i should probably introduce the other features of this book so let's go ahead and show you the uh, green arrows on the right and left side of the book they are to advance to the page to the right or the page to the left and then there is this thing the gold tab with the arrow it's the uh, return tab or yeah when you tap on that whatever page you are on and whatever page you were looking at it'll go back and forth between the two pages so if you turn the page to the right and then you want to see the difference between the two you just tap on this and it'll go back and forth between the, each of them so let's now tell you what you would do on the memory tab and now that we unlocked a kind lila you would tap in this section right here on the plus and it will bring up a quest because this part is all about go and take screenshots in places your fairy is interested in. And the reason you do this is if you complete the two screenshots they're looking for under Kind Gentle 1, there is a reward to increase your CP. And of course, below it is Kind slash Gentle 2. That's just two or four screenshots that you can do and two rewards that you can do when you have your kind Lila. And I can't stress this enough, you wanna do it when you have her and get it done because if you upgrade and 
uh, she changes, then you won't be able to come back to this unless you get kind Lila again. So, want to pay attention to it. So when you tap on this one, for example, let's show you what the clue it gives you on where to take the screenshot. And it says Tulip Field. For Kind Lila, she says the yellow tulips at Calfion Northern Plantation are just like me. Can we go there together? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a video of where I go to complete this quest and what you need to look for. And then after that, you remember that Google Doc that I was talking about? Well, it is going to have locations of where to go for the pictures that you need to take as well. It's going to be a work in progress uh, with all the information I want to put into it so that it is helpful for you. And in case you're frustrated and you just don't know where to go and what to tap on, you can go there and see if there's information on where to go and what to do. So let's go ahead and queue up that video and show you where to go at the, tul at the tulip field in Calfion Northern Plantation. Here we go. So here we are on the world map and let's go to North Calfion. And let's go ahead and tap on zone so we could see the names and there it is Northern Plantation So let's go ahead and mark a tap on it so we can go there uh, We usually go to town. It just makes it easier when we want to go so you're not riding a horse out of that area And there we go, let's go back to North Calfion Northern Plantation and Autopath and we'll just uh, go ahead and be right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, I spent some time roaming around so I'm just gonna go right to the area here we go and we are coming up on that spot I want you to see that for kind Lila it is a yellow circle that we're looking for and there it is can't miss it in the tulips so this is where we want to be and this is where you want to stand now i didn't know if there was specifics or details about having to get uh the fairy in the shot and then i was like hey wait a minute where's where's lila where's my fairy let's turn the camera around and see if we can locate her she does need to be in the picture Oh, there she is. She's coming. <laughs> so now I didn't know if I need to take a picture with her in the shot. So this is all new and I was wondering, so why not? Let's go ahead and get a good shot of her and I'm on an emulator, so it's going to look a little weird. So I got to turn the camera. There we go. And take picture. Perfect. So now when we end and we go back to our uh, fairy and then the album and we go to memory, look at that. It's not our picture. It was just be there and take the shot and it will put in a picture. See that not even what I took. <laughs> so that's fine. That is totally fine. So now we have one of two pictures I need to do. And here is the next clue for the next place I need to go. But what I'm going to do is freeze it here, freeze the screen, and just say, now you understand how the memory tab works, and you know how it works for tapping on a picture slot and following the clue that it shows. And like I said, on my Google Doc, I'm going to update the locations and things that I found. I actually spent a lot of time trying to find this one and uh, I decided to just put that off to later and work on finishing this video. So now that you understand how the two sections of the album works for growth and memory, we're going to return to the main screen where all the steps are and I want to show you what it looks like when your Lila your kind Lila 
is gonna go for the next upgrade so let me cue that up here we go so here we are we have kind fuzzy lila and our twinkle is at 1000 so now it shows you that we are going for vivid the success rate is 30 percent so it's kind of low so we're gonna hit blossom and hope for the best here we go We went to Depressed Fuzzy Baby Fairy. So don't worry. Everything you unlocked when you got to Lila is still there and will be there from now on. But you see that the max traits is at 20. So we have still one skill slot. And now an event has begun. So let's go ahead and watch that. So, now that the event is done, it is now a matter of what do we do from here. Well, I do want to show you that when you go to uh, upgrade your depressed fuzzy baby fairy again in Blossom, look at that 100% success rate. So, the Pearl Abyss wants you to go from this right back to where you were with Lila. So I also want to show you what else has changed and has or is going to help boost you back to get Lila back as well. So let's show you that. So I went into Bond to see if I can do more to get my Twinkle back. And we went, I have three for talk. I still have one left for wish out of two so i thought why not let's try this quest and look at the twinkle oh my 250 that is a far so much more than what we got when we first were trying to level up the baby fairy so this is what uh has changed is you get a lot more twinkle so you can get back your lila and that also applies for talk. Let's just double check that. And here we are in talk. So let's go ahead and tap on this and look at the left side of the screen, the second one down for Twinkle, 170. So yes, yes it does. It boosts uh, your uh, talk and wish when you are a depressed fuzzy baby fairy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I am working away to try to get my twinkle back with uh, what I have left and what I can do. So let me go ahead and zip right to seeing if I was successful and if we can upgrade the fuzzy, the depressed fuzzy baby, fuzzy fairy baby. <laughs> Here we go. And so I have a confession to make and that is yes I did buy some things from the pearl shop to help speed this process along and I am almost there with the twinkle so let's go ahead and answer this last question and see what happens and there it is it's your go to take the oh gosh fuzzy depressed fuzzy 
fairy baby and see if we can upgrade her to that fuzzy baby fairy and upgrade her to the next tier now we're in the fuzzy tier whereas before it was just a baby fairy and and lila so let's go ahead and blossom we have a hundred percent success rate here we go now we have a kind fuzzy lila so congratulations and you'll see the traits are now at 20 or still at 20 still got one skill slot because we need to get her to vivid in tier but we have her back and now it's just a matter of the day to day to build her up to get to the next tier but like a good advertisement but wait there's more there is one more thing that you should be aware of that was a surprise to me when it happened and that is called a trait change in appearance so i froze the screen showing you that fuzzy lila in her traits now i want you to look at that area and i'm going to show you a new screen so what this means is that cheerful and friendly add up together just like what you're being shown on your resonance screen so there's 17 points together right now is what i have creative and bold are 14 and relaxed and honest are 16. so cheerful and friendly is the highest uh trait points that i have and is the reason why my fuzzy lila has gold wings and yellow hair now watch this so i'm here in talk trying to answer some questions and i didn't pay attention to what the result would give me and there it is she changed so it, that, it matters very much what you choose for your answers if you want to stay looking the same so let me go ahead and go back and show you what her stats look like or the traits look like now so here we go and so here is a still image of our new fuzzy lila that just changed and let's go ahead and tally up those numbers here it is and now you can see that honest and relaxed is now in the lead and the reason why she changed so just if you didn't catch that let's show you a new slide with a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the differences here we go and as you can see the uh traits definitely uh are the determining factor of why she has an appearance change and the only thing that really changes uh, looking at both of these images is her hair and her wings uh, the outfit and the bag and everything else that accessories she has and even the tattoos are the same so something for you to keep an eye on and be aware of so now what we're gonna do i think this video is long enough <laughs> we're going to go into our outro without further ado here we go so on behalf of archmage and myself we'd both like to say thank you thank you very much for watching this video if you made it to the end of the video from start to finish hey congratulations that does deserve a round of applause if you like this video please subscribe like let people know i am always making more videos yes she's happy about it too and there are a lot of videos left to do so without further ado you have a great day take care bye now